Welcome back to my second channel. Right here on the second channel, we're going over the fishing merch drop. Now, this is a big merch drop. It's like the biggest merch drop we've ever dropped. You know what? Sometimes they say that you drop your pocket, but today we're dropping the merch. The first thing on the fishing spring merch drop is this right here. It's just a simple little fishing tackle bag. Everything you need inside, you come down here in this pocket. It even comes with a strap right there if you want to wear it big time style, I guess. I'll go ahead and give you guys a 360. Just an overall good fishing tackle box. It has pockets here, here, right here on the side zipper, right here on the side zipper. Boom, right there. Then, you know, also right up front have these clips, these hoops, so that you can, you know, clip things in. We'll go ahead, open up the front one, see what's in here, if I can grab it. Just a pretty simple place, so you know, you can put soft plastics or whatever else you may want. Right up here in the big pocket, not going to show you what's in it, because that's the rest of the merch drop. But then right up here, one of the most important things is a plier holder. Now this is specifically sized for these specific pliers, so you open them up, and then you pull out the pliers. Yes, they are KG pliers right there. Now whenever I went into building and designing these pliers, I made sure that they had each and every one of the little attachments that I want. I mean, yeah sure you can find pliers like this that has attachments inside but these are the specific eight attachments that i want but first off it's just your standard fishing pliers got spring loaded that way you can do like this as for the teeth right here just pretty simple a cutter right here and then just your standard plier edge right here it has a few different ones this one right here seems like it's a weird saw thing but what it actually is is with this right here this little prong this little uh, this little notch cut out let's say that you catch a bluegill and i mean he got it way down in his throat you can't put your fingers down in the bluegill's mouth so what do you do you get this out right here put it down in his mouth put this little notch in the hook and then just push it out and then you can pull it out that way that right there is what that's for if you've always seen it on some tools and never knew what it was that's what that's for then the next thing just a standard screwdriver you never know when you may need that right here a can opener i believe then you have a little flathead screwdriver right here and then you just have a standard little blade right there nothing too special it's not the sharpest knife in the world but it's just a little nice attachment on your pliers then we come over to the other side which really helps a lot this right here a file maybe your hooks get dull or maybe you just need to file something down you can do that right there with that then here's the big one this is probably the biggest thing that i truly wanted and it's a simple pair of attachment scissors i mean the scissors really doesn't seem too special until you're out in the woods somewhere trying to cut cut braided line with like this right here, it ain't gonna work. You gotta have some kind of sharp edge. And my preferred sharp edge to cut braid is just some little scissors like this. And then the other attachment is just like a little saw thing right here in case you need to cut a sticker bone. And now I'll just come right back in here, put those pliers in there. And also a really fun fact, the little bitty pocket on the fishing fanny packs, they've already been released, so I'm not gonna tell you much about them. That holder right there is also specifically sized for those particular pliers. Now I'm gonna open it up. I don't want y'all to see too much. I'm gonna pull one thing out at a time. And the next thing we're pulling out is rod socks. And you know, rod socks, pretty simple design. They serve their purpose. What you do is you wrap them down the end of your rod. And what that does is keeps your line tangle free and your rod from getting dented up. Right here is the tip of the rod socks. It's just got a lot of KGs right there. But we have them in two different colors, which is black and white and white and blue. And we also have them in two different sizes, one for spinning rod and one for bait caster. So whenever you get on the website to buy them, make sure that you buy the right size. Now we'll set that over here. We'll pull in here one more thing. You guys have also saw that, seen this before. It is the KG fishing scale. Now it's pretty simple and everything. You just turn it on, let it zero out, put the fish on there, let it weigh, and then you come over here to the side, pull it out. It's got a little measuring out there. A good little fishing scale. It's small, it's compact, and it gets the job done. It is a big one, and I don't know if anyone saw this one coming out of anywhere. I mean, it almost came out like an RKO, but it is just a solid pair of fishing sunglasses. Open them up, comes with a carrying case, break them out here, KG polarized, gotta make sure that they're polarized so that you can actually see down in the water, especially for those spawning fish we'll give you guys a little up close view of those kg right there on the side got rubber ends in the back and rubber pieces for your nose that way whenever you're spending a long day out on the water you're not gonna hurt your face trying to wear sunglasses but they just fit on like that blue lenses so that you can look cool or something and you know they're polarized that's honestly the biggest part that's the biggest thing i wanted was polarized so that you could actually see in the water and have a physical advantage when fishing i'll be using those a lot this year and i'm honestly surprised i've not spoiled them so far another rko out of nowhere we got a stinky kg fishing backpack and i mean we went all out on this thing this thing is massive man i don't even know i really like this backpack it's a it's a it's a machine even though the sunglasses do come with their own case you can put them here if you'd like 
We'll go and zip that back up. Got spaces up here. You got a big space right here, and it is actually made from a material that will keep your food cold or ice cold or drinks cold. But this right here is like a mini cooler. You don't have to put food or water in there, but you can if you'd like to. Another really big thing with this backpack is uh, I use the SBS zippers right here. They're extremely strong. They're the biggest and strongest ones I can get. So you're not going to go out there and end up breaking a zipper. That's not going to happen. But if you're wondering where do you put your tackle boxes, you put them right down here. Open this up, slide them in. I think it fits three or four depending on how much you want to squeeze them. And you just zip them back up. I'll give you all a little bit more of a 360 view. It's a good little backpack. Like it is a machine. You'll be seeing me use that a ton, especially whenever I'm going to like a backwoods pond and I have to hike. This is going to be my best bet because I can just put it on my back and go. Now you may be saying like, Kendall, dude, I know that's really cool, but what, do you have any tackle? Yeah, I have some tackle boxes. What kind of question was that? And here they are. Just a simple tackle box. They are waterproof. Pretty good sealed in here. Got the waterproof lining right here so that water's not gonna get in there and rust your hooks. All the things are already pre-cut, so all you gotta do is sit them in there just like that. You don't have to start with scissors and cut them. At the moment, this is the only size that we offer, but you also gotta keep in mind, this is like the only size that fits perfectly in there. Not only in there, but it's also the perfect size that fits right down in here. Right now on the site, my entire fishing lineup is 10% off. At the end of this video, I'm actually going to give you a 5% off code, which will make it 15% off, so stay tuned for that. But there's one more thing. I've been working on this. Like, I remember February of last year, I had this in hands of people testing it for me. And finally, we got it right exactly where we want it. This is a weird book. Like, it's a book that has like one page of words, but it is a flog. The Fishing Log to take your skills to the next level by Kendall Gray. I've been wanting to make this for a long time, and like I've said, it has took a long time to fully develop. We had to test it. We had to make sure that it's actually useful and had all the tools and data that we needed. Now, I could probably make a 15-minute video about this book alone, but I'll try to keep it short for this one. I'll just try to show you later in my videos. But here's what it is. It's a fishing log. You need a fishing log, especially, I'd say, you're bass fishing. Bass fishing is just a big pattern. Right here is just a little introduction about why... I made the fishing lock to start with. Let me show you a few of the things on here. You got date, location, end time, start time. Here we have weather, top fish, forage. All these things are the key to creating and understanding patterns with bass. And not only bass, but all fish, really. But that right there, I really do think this can change your game and take you to the next level. It took me to the next level. Because what I actually done before I had this, I went down with a pen and drew out all that stuff in a notebook. And that's really what made me a better fisherman. And so then I was just thinking, why don't I just helps people out. Why don't I just like make it? That way they don't have to sit there and draw on a notebook all day. But like I promised guys, I'm about to give you a promo code to get you the extra 5% off. And it's called KG2. That's all it is. Just KG2. And that would give you an extra 5%. I know that a 5% discount doesn't sound like a lot, but it takes it from going 10% off on the normal sale to 15% off. And that's just like free money, I guess. But yeah, guys, that's all I've got to say in this video. Thank you for watching KG2. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a lot of bass fishing on this channel that will never be seen on my main channel. Also, don't forget, kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. That's the website, and don't forget to use promo code KG2. And I'll tell you what, boys, I'll see you later signing you off with the vlog.